Gunshot residue can be collected from a subject's hands by directly sampling the hand surface with the GSR 600 sampling card. Gunshot residue is typically concentrated on the back of the hand, the webbing between the forefinger and thumb, and on the palm of the hand. Inform the subject that you will be applying firm pressure while swiping the hands with the sampling card. Follow your agency's protocols regarding the use of gloves during sample collection. For purposes of demonstration, I will not be wearing gloves and I will sample one of my own hands. We recommend using a separate card to sample each hand. Cards can only be used and processed one time. Use the GSR sampling card as follows. Remove the sampling card from its bag. Then remove the protective liner from the card. The sample paper is the lower portion of the sample area and the adhesive pad is the upper portion. The adhesive pad is used for dabbing and the sample paper is used for swiping. Remember not to touch the sample paper or adhesive pad with your own hands when sampling a subject to avoid contamination of your sample. Do not sample wet hands or blood. Collect the sample as follows. Dab the back surface of the hand to include the index finger, forefinger, and thumb with the adhesive pad. Make sure to uh, get the sample from the webbed area between the thumb and the forefinger. Then flip the hand to the palm side and do each of the fingers. You should dab a minimum of 50 times to cover the sample area. And continue dabbing even after the adhesive no longer feels tacky. Okay, now Using the sample paper, we'll swipe the same areas of the hands that we dabbed, starting on the back with the fingers, back of the hand, the webbed area between the forefinger and the thumb, then over onto the palm side, get each finger, palm, and then the thumb. After the sample has been collected, lift the red tab and fold the adhesive onto the sampling paper. Press the adhesive to the paper firmly with the thumb. While still pressing the adhesive, ensure the folded portion of the label is free and pull the red tab out to fully extend the label. While still pressing on the adhesive, tightly wrap the label around the lower edge of the card. Press the label firmly to the back of the card. The sample is now ready to be analyzed by the XCAD.